हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डीएफटी फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डीएफटी इफ डीएफटी ऑफ एक्स वन ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन ऑफ के and dft of x2 of n is equal to x2 of k then dft of a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n will be equal to a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k here we are taking two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n dft of x1 of n is x1 of k and dft of x2 of n is x2 of k for these two sequences if we multiply with scaling factor and add these two sequences like a1 is multiplied with x1 of n plus a2 is multiplied with x2 of n so these are the scaling factors at that case at the output the scaling factor should also be reflected along with the dft let us prove this let us do the proof we know the dft of x of n can be written as summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n here the value of k is ranging between 0 to n minus 1 now instead of x of n we will write this term which is a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n so we can write that as dft of a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n can be written as summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 instead of x of n we'll write this term so we'll write a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n since we are having the addition term here we can split this summation and we can write summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 a1 x1 of n we can multiply with this term into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n plus summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 second term we will write it is a2 x2 of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n since a1 is constant we can take that outside the summation so we will write that as a1 summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n plus again here a2 is constant we will take a2 outside the summation so we will write a2 into summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n so if you consider this sequence this is the dft of x1 of n if you consider this sequence this is the dft of the sequence x2 of n so we can write a1 into dft of x1 of n we can write it as x1 of k plus we can write this term a2 and dft of x2 of n we can write it as x2 of 
k. So, d of t of a 1 x 1 of n plus a 2 x 2 of n will be equal to a 1 x 1 of k plus a 2 x 2 of k. This is about the linearity property. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.